This segment is just so the commissioner knows that all of the working parts are still working and kind of gives an overview of what's been done to the blaster, although you can't see too terribly much. I've completely removed all of the dead space as well as the air restrictor and then gone over the entire new joint with two-part liquid epoxy to remove any sort of air or leak in the seal. Then we, of course, improved the seal with Teflon tape. We have doubled up the springs, which you can see just barely in there, as well as replaced the catch spring. Everything seems to be functioning fine. We left the light mechanism entirely intact, so that'll still work if that's something you're into. Tucked our screw port into there, so everything should be ready to go back together. We'll talk about the aesthetics in the overview and firing segment of this video. Yikes! So I almost forgot to make a final video on this commission, but luckily, right before I took it to the post office, I remembered, so I'm in one of the conference rooms at my university, and I am going to make a video on this. This is the Z Fang. It is a very simple fire strike commission. I did all of my usual internal mods to it, as well as I took a little bit of extra time on the detailing. So the detailing is, of course, a green enamel on a dark green or forest green paint job. Gives it a very lime feel, which I like a lot. And then something that I've noticed a lot of people just don't take the time to do is, of course, I've fully removed all of the logos and labels with the exception of the Nerf logo, which paints up rather nicely, especially when it's got this pop. But I also don't really like the waffle pattern on the handle. So I removed that completely and thinned that out and then I came back over it and did a double coating of a rather thick green enamel. So it's got an almost glass-like surface to it. It's very shiny, very smooth, very, very nice. At least I think, I hope that the commissioner agrees. Commissioner wanted this to be called the Z Fang. I saw no reason to argue with that. So you got the name that you chose. I've signed it down here. I did do kind of a speckle of green onto this piece just because I thought that it would be a nice little offset. If I could do it over again, I'd probably do it just full-on neon green the same way as everything else, but I kind of like it. It let me do the signature in neon green. Blaster performs fine for what it is. There is not a serious overhaul here. It's still balanced for stock darts. I think there's a regular Elite in it right now. For the sake of argument, this is how far an Elite normally chambers in mine. They chamber a little bit further than that, and then firing is crisp, clean, and hits rather hard. All of my commissions ship with extra darts. In this case, I think I'm shipping with some Vowberry darts here, which are just fun uh, third-party darts. They're inexpensive for me to buy in bulk, and that means that I can afford to send 20 with the commission. So Blaster, I, I like to say that it's accurate. I drew a goofy target in here, but that said, we're only firing from like 12 feet away, so anything is accurate at 12 feet. But that is the Z Fang Commission. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think of this paint job. I've gotten mixed feedback from it on Instagram. Some people think that it's awesome. They really like the color scheme. Some people tell me that the green is a little bit too much, that the neon on the forest green is a little abrasive. But I like that the green neon matches the orange neon that the blaster already has. So this is your commission. For the person who contacted me and asked for this specifically, it's going out in the mail today and it should be there very, very soon. Normally priority is quite cheap at my universal or university post office. And to everybody else, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one.